Awesome. So we covered the double ankle sweep there. Now we're going to do the tripod. Okay. Very similar. Uh, but this is another good option that works very well here. Where, where he stands up and you weren't able to capture both his ankles, maybe he places one leg back, what have you. I'm still uncrossing my legs, but I'm going to secure the ankle. My foot's going to go to his hip. And on my secondary leg, is going to hook the inside of its far leg. Let's turn this one here. So as you can see, the grip I have here. This is a good position because I can still control distance. It's hard for him to hit me. It's not, not much he could do here. And this foot is keeping his leg from stepping back. And this foot, this hand here, is keeping his leg from going away. And then I just use the secondary leg to push him. So I'm going to tell, and I'm going to do it this way here so you guys can see it. I'm going to push him back, and as he follows, I make that transition again. Because you've got to follow him up. You know he's, you know you're taking him down. So don't be surprised as he's falling, he's creating a little distance. You've got to be quick and move up on top of him as quickly as you can to avoid him from bringing his feet into the equation. So we're going to do it from, from this angle here. So we're here, he starts standing up. Boom, right here, right there. One, two, three. Push. And immediately go to his side. Try to keep him from turning away. This is a good point here. If he starts to turn away, hook the arm, bring your leg over and start forcing him back down. You don't want someone to be turtling up to get to turtle position. That could be that could be problematic, especially a strong person who starts basing out. I'm covering that now on the next instruction, we'll cover that. But turtle can be a problem, so don't let them turtle.